So this 2017 BMW 330 with the B46 slash B48 motor is overall a very reliable car, except there is one thing on this car that is known to go wrong that could be pretty major. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So I just came home from a, about a 2000 mile road trip with this BMW 330. So that was like between two days, so like a thousand miles, 15 hours roughly each day. So before I went on this road trip, of course, I wanted to make sure that the car was good, that it was reliable. So it really got me thinking and researching what's wrong with these cars, what could go wrong on these cars, what could potentially go wrong on my road trip. So if we take a closer look at the car, you can definitely see it is a bug graveyard. So this car definitely went through a lot of miles on that road trip. Uh, again, guys, I wanted to make sure the car was reliable. I wanted to make sure that if there's any common issues on this car, that it was taken care of before my road trip. So that's what led me to do all this research. Uh, also, a lot of you guys who are more experienced with the B46 slash B48, uh, you guys did help me out a lot by dropping some advice in the comments. So I definitely appreciate that, guys. I did also look through all the forums and stuff like that. Uh, this was the only major thing that I could find. But let me stop beating around the bush. Let me show you guys what the major issue with these cars or pretty much any car with the b46 slash b48 is so no surprise to anyone the issue that's really common in these cars is a coolant leak so what specifically happens guys is there is a line that goes from right over here so this is the expansion tank or the reservoir whatever you want to call it and it basically goes all around back and through here and it goes into the cylinders hopefully i said all that correctly but that is one area in this car that tends to go bad so what usually happens is this thing will crack or it could crack where it meets the cylinders now obviously if it cracks over here you can easily see it but if it cracks inside here uh it's pretty tough to see so let me show you guys exactly where that would actually be and we're probably not gonna be able to really see it but i'll still try to do my best so where it connects guys is actually kind of deep inside over here so you kind of have to like pull this uh, i think it's like a heat shield or heat cover uh whatever it is you have to pull this back and it's also behind this bracket right over here which helps hold all these hoses but behind here that's where the other end of the coolant line connects and i believe that's the more common end for it to crack now unfortunately obviously uh judging by its placement it's going to be hard to tell but if you guys do notice your car starts to overheat or just in general that you're losing coolant uh, that's probably most likely what the issue is so it's either cracked over here or where it connects on the other side now it does look like i have some coolant over here guys and that was just because i was trying to like test things out i was trying to see like how to actually remove this thing and i kind of spilled some coolant like an idiot so do ignore that mine isn't leaking over here that was just me removing this cable just to test things out after that i actually topped off on my coolant that way i can just better track everything and see if i'm in fact losing some coolant so hopefully you guys can tell i don't know if you really can because it's so dark underneath there but i can just tell you i did top off on coolant before that road trip so 2000 miles later i'm still good on coolant so i don't think mine is leaking however if you guys do notice that yours starts to leak like i said if you lose coolant or if your car is overheating that is most likely the issue now i know that doesn't sound like the biggest deal in the world but obviously guys if you lose coolant that could be really bad your engine could overheat you really don't want that so just keep an eye out for it uh, again it's not the worst issue in the world but it could happen it is pretty common on these cars again in my preparation for this road trip what i actually went ahead and did was buy a replacement hose for this car so that way just in case during those 2000 miles if it goes bad and i get stuck on the side of the road with an overheating engine i can go ahead and replace it i also brought some coolant with me and some distilled water so since i have a new hose with me i might as well just show you guys because that can actually give you a good idea of sort of like the path that follows inside your engine bay all right and here is the new hose guys uh this one is oem i believe i got it from fcp euro uh so if i can just lay it down right over here so you can kind of get like an idea of where this is going to go uh now obviously i can't line it up exactly but this will hopefully just give you a general idea so this piece over here will connect over here and then it kind of just goes around if we can follow it like that and it'll connect somewhere down the middle again behind this bracket right over here which is pretty easy to remove it's only like three torx bolts so there's two right over there and then there's one that sits on the throttle body i'm no mechanic of course but i believe that bracket is just meant to kind of hold a few uh, lines in place so you can easily remove that uh, but it does get in the way because where it connects is literally right behind there even without the bracket honestly guys like it is pretty tough to get to i did actually go ahead and remove the bracket just so i can better see everything that was also when i was sort of messing with it on this side as well and yeah i gotta say like it is an absolute pain like this thing it's not gonna be super hard to replace because these things are pretty easy to remove it's just basically like c-clamps i can actually just show you on the new one here uh if you, hopefully you can actually see that you just take like a pick tool or maybe like your fingernail and then just like pull this up so these things are definitely not hard to remove but it's just about like where it's located that makes this thing such a pain uh, again this one not too bad but once you try to do this side over here that's where it gets to be a massive pain at least in my opinion now again guys i didn't do this myself yet because like i mentioned before i did take this with me on my road trip 
just in case something did happen. But of course, uh, I didn't end up needing it, thankfully. Even after the road trip, the car only has 28,000 miles on it. So it's still pretty young. So I don't think I'm gonna need this thing for a little while. Uh, again, I just brought it with me just in case because I definitely didn't want to get stuck. At least if I couldn't do it myself on the side of the road, I can take it to a mechanic and I'd already have the replacement part. So that was just me planning ahead. But if you guys want to know how to replace this, I can look into making a video about it in advance. So I'll basically change mine before it even goes bad. So that way I can film it and show you guys. But if you want to see that, definitely let me know down in the comments below. So yeah, this hose is pretty much the worst thing that can go wrong on this car. That's at least common. I'm sure these cars have other issues, guys. Uh, but I feel like that's probably a little more one-off. Based on my research on the forums, talking to like different owners and all that type of stuff this is definitely the most common issue that most likely you will face if you own a b46 slash b48 again it doesn't have to just be a 330 it could be a 430 a 230 anything with this engine again i don't think it's the worst thing in the world but if this happens to you like on the middle of the road that could really suck so maybe just change it in advance which i think i'm gonna end up doing or just keep this part handy with you just in case you do need it so that way you don't have to wait for it to ship or whatever it is so before i wrap this up one last thing i want to talk to you guys about is if you are new to the channel so of course i have this 330 i also have this 435 which has the n55 and if you guys have been watching my channel pretty much watch all my videos you'll know that i actually had a very similar issue happen to this 435 again with the n55 and that is i had a coolant hose pretty similar to the one again on this car go bad on me however surprisingly it was a lot easier to fix on this car so let me just pop open the hood and i'll show you guys what i mean so again very very similar issue except on this car it was way easier to fix and that's because if i can show you guys the hose that went wrong on this car it connects from right over here it goes over here all the way over to the expansion tank and it connects right here so as you guys can tell everything on this n55 is super easy to reach uh mine actually specifically cracked on this end pretty similar hose and pretty similar cost i think they're both about like 40 bucks but again this one was just a lot easier to replace this one only took me like maybe five ten minutes with everything excluding filming time whereas this one here i'm anticipating for it to take about like maybe 30 minutes to an hour just because of how hard it is to reach the other end of the hose so yeah obviously this is an n55 it is a different bmw motor it doesn't really you know add any uh information on this b48 but it's just interesting to me how bmw had a pretty similar issue on most of their engines honestly it's also a pretty similar hose it's just kind of like you know shaped a little different so you think that bmw would fix it but i guess not so yeah guys i pretty much just wanted to make this video to give you a heads up and so you can be aware of this common issue on these engines if you guys have a car like this uh just so you have an idea of what to expect it seems like a lot of you guys were already familiar with this issue and you guys actually informed me so again thank you to those people it really came in handy when i was researching all the issues that could happen with this car before my road trip so again if you guys didn't know about this uh hopefully you know now if you guys want a video on how to replace it just let me know down in the comments below i'll definitely look into it i think it's one of those things that you can probably wait until it goes wrong or you can just fix it in advance uh since i already have the hose i can do it in advance or i can just wait but again just depends if you guys want to see a video like that or not but with that said this video is pretty much done and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace